Oh, I got a good one for you today, guys. We're going to do some smoked chicken, and we're going to make barbecue somewhat healthy. We're also going to do enough of it and some meal prep to last us all week. Stay tuned. I'm starting with two whole breasts and two thighs. I'm going to marinate it with this chipotle pepper marinade. Just going to follow the instructions right on the back. Quarter cup water, quarter cup oil. And we're going to mix it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the chicken. We're going to seal it. I'm going to let it marinate for about 12 hours. You don't have to do as much as I'm doing, but I'm meal prepping and I'm going to make sure that we have dinner for basically a whole week for my family and then we don't have to mess with it during the week. cook the chicken on the Rectech pellet grill, push the on off button, and we're going to take it down to about 300 degrees. This pellet grill leaves a wonderful flavor on chicken and it's so accurate and steady that it produces incredibly juicy and tender chicken. Time to do a little meal prep. I'm doing Southwest style chicken tacos. Man, they're going to be good. Now these are the ingredients I'm using, but feel free to use whatever ingredients suit your taste. You know, taste is subjective, so it's up to you. Chicken's all done marinating. Now it's time to go ahead and get a rub on it, and then we can get it on the smoker. Today we're gonna to be using a roasted garlic and herb from McCormick. Pretty nice, you know, commercially available rub. You can probably pick it up in your grocery store, but I think it's gonna add just the right flavor to these Southwest style chicken breasts. Wouldn't you know it started raining right when I tried to film me, you know, putting the chicken on the smoker and cooking it. Well, you're going to have to take my word for it. It's out there cooking at 300 degrees until it's up to 165. Now I threw two thighs into the mix here, and that's just gonna give us a little extra juiciness and a nice complimentary flavor. Let's take a look at our ingredients. We have wraps, which we're gonna use for the taco shell. We have romaine hearts chopped up nice. We have some onions and some corn. You can use frozen or canned. Just make sure you drain it if it's canned. Some chopped up cherry tomatoes, some green pepper. We're gonna add some black beans and then some avocado. And we're gonna to top it all off with a little bit of freshly chopped cilantro.
just as your ingredients are all chopped up and ready. You can change them up each night to give you a little variety. You can skip the taco shell and just go with a salad. Let me go ahead and give these things a taste and see how they came out. Oh, man, I'm telling you, that is delicious. Make sure you put a little Thousand Island sauce on like I did. You can't go wrong here. Barbecue Southwest style chicken tacos. Make sure you give them a try. Oh, 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 oh,